You can study on Coursera for free and in this video I will show you how exactly you can do that. Hey everyone, it's Ilnor and on my channel I usually discuss education related topics and I also share some tips on how to grow and how to develop ourselves. If this is your first time on my channel, consider subscribing. So in this video I will share some tips which helped me personally to have six certificates on Coursera already for free, completely free, okay? Coursera is the biggest online platform in the world which provides some online courses from like the best professionals in their field so going for a certificate on Coursera in fact does make sense because it's really nice thing to show in your CV it will not harm you in any way and you can actually go there and as I will now show to you you can do it for completely free there's another interesting thing about Coursera actually, it is that it has a relatively low percentage of finishers. You know, there are a lot of people rushing into these courses, but there is a little number of people who actually finish these courses. Being able to finish an online course says a lot about your self-discipline. Okay, enough for the words, let me show you how it's done. I will now go on Coursera. This is my page here. Let me be clear about my accomplishments here. So these are the certificates that I had received here. You can see the Python ones, uh, research proposal, academic information seeking and so on. Let me also show you what the certificates look like, right? Where's the certificate? Here it is. Look, you can see the certificates. You can verify them on Coursera site. First of all, uh, of course, you need to decide which course you want to get, right? So what I usually do here, I like going to Coursera and searching for some courses. It doesn't necessarily mean that I will pass all these courses, but you know, it's just feels nice to just sometimes see them. Wow. So many nice courses here. What you usually do here on Coursera, you look at the topics, obviously. So the topics must be of interest to you. It must be something important, you know, for your future career. And then you also look at these, you know, rankings, the stars and the the numbers of people who have left their feedback there. And there is also this thing here, you know, special. Sp how do you pronounce it? Special specialization yeah so this specialization basically means that if you click there you will see that specialization uh, consists of several courses in fact here you can see one course second course three course so a specialization uh, means that there are several like four or five courses within it it's like getting a master's degree on course area here but also you can look at not special specializations but on courses and courses are just you know single ones so I would choose for example this one what future for education UCL Institute of Education from what I know UCL University College of London is ranked first in education subject according to QS ranking so for me it's a good enough argument for me to choose this course so this is the course okay obviously you would need to you know read all the details about the course and say you like this course okay what do you do next so basically normally what you would do is you can enroll for free they say enroll for free but enrolling for free means you will not receive your certificate so here full course but no certificate see but if i would like to purchase a course they would charge me 2200 rubles it's something like 30 dollars this price is pretty much affordable right but let's say you feel like you cannot afford it right now it's not the best moment for you right like it was for my family when me my wife and our daughter we spent one year in the uk i was doing my masters there we had a really strict budget there and I was like, mm, I mean, I can afford it, but I would rather not pay for the certificate, okay? So this was the situation. So if you're in similar situation right now, what you can do is you can see this financial aid available button here. And when you click on it, you see applications take at least 15 days to get reviewed. They say at least, but from what I know, it usually takes actually 15 days, not at least 15 days. So then what you do is you continue to the application, okay? And obviously you have to confirm that you share accurate information, then you have to commit that you're gonna be finishing their Coursera courses. 
and then you actually write down these things here, okay? And then you click continue. So here you choose whatever educational background you have. You write your actual annual income, then you put your employment status. So you put, say, student here, and then how much can you afford to pay, you put it there. And these two parts are really, really important. So why are you applying for financial aid? And you have to write at least 150 words minimum required. Here, I remember that I was writing something like this. Me and my family are now staying in the UK and I'm doing my masters there and I'm an international student there and we have a very strict budget. We have to be very disciplined in terms of money. It's a bit difficult to me, you know, to pay for this certificate. This is what I was writing there and I was, you know, completely honest. And you just make sure that it's 150 words. And the second part here is how will taking these course help you achieve your career goals? So, so you actually have to explain why are you having these course? So here, say when I was doing these Python courses, I was explaining that um, I was preparing myself for my future job in you know AI in education sector and I was completely honest here so here I just explained the actual situation you know in terms of money that I was experiencing and I also mentioned what career goals I had and how this particular course would help me and remember this after you have written these two texts you have to save these texts because they will help you to apply for your future courses as well why would you erase them right and what you basically do after that, you uh, answer a couple more questions here, which helps them to improve. It doesn't really, you know, influence anything. Then you just click this submit application. This is it. Like, this is it. It takes you like maybe 20 minutes to, you know, submit this application. And after that, you have to wait for two weeks literally two weeks they don't do it earlier i think they do it you know why because they have to make sure that you're disciplined enough or you need it enough there is another tip that i have to share here so imagine i'm having a course that they have provided to me for free and before even finishing this course when I have like two weeks to finish it I already submit another application for my future course that's something that I have done myself and Coursera is completely fine okay at least this is what I experienced and I never got rejected so basically what happens after you submit your application after two weeks you receive an email saying hey you can come and study your courses for free and you just basically go and study and at the end of the course if you've done everything well then you will receive your free certificate I do believe that this is a great opportunity. Do you think so? Please leave your comments in the comment section. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel here. And if you want to see some other development tips, why don't you check out this playlist right here. I'll see you in my next videos. Bye.